everyone, so it's been a very long time since I've been on here and I'm kind of scared again about doing my second video but it's okay. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing my most requested video ever which is a makeup collection. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection for a 13 year old. I do have more makeup than an average 13 year old just to put that out there. So a lot of my makeup I have got for birthdays, Christmas and probably around half of it I've been sent by brands and I'm so so thankful for that and grateful. So I must have thank you to all the brands who have sent me something in the past. Um, I'm so so grateful and thank you. So Storm Dennis is here. Anyway, let's get on to it. So this here is my desk which I film all of my YouTube videos and Instagram videos on. Here's me. My furniture um, is from Ikea. So these are my Alex 5 drawers and I have another set here and they are both from Ikea and they are both £55. I then have this desk top on top which um, kind of like links the des desk together if you get what I mean. Top I have these two sets of like mini Alex drawers which I just keep a few little bits in. So then here I have the Ikea Hollywood light strip. The light strips are £18, the mirror was £13 and these here are all £2 each. So starting off with this area over here. So over here I have this little basket which is from Primark which just has all toners, makeup removers and things like that in. So in the basket to start off with I have my Vinci Coral Facial Cleanser. I have a Garnier Micellar Rose Water which is new and I love it. The Garnier Rose Cleansing Milk which also has a to toner which I quite like. I then have my Neutrogena Face Wash which I only bought I think about two weeks ago but I've, I love it. Over here we have a bit of a throwback. This is the T-Zone Black Cleansing Oil. Um, I remember buying this so long ago. And I remember I got it in the sale for like 52p and I was so happy but I haven't used it for ages. So then I have two micellar gels by Garnier which I used to clean my brushes. Then here I have the Pixi Retinol Tonic I'm going to say it's called. I also have the Glow Tonic which is my fave. And here I have my cotton pad holder from Primark. And here I have my Pez soap for my brows. Here I have this cute little plant from New Look. So then here I have my Bye Bye Blemish, which I actually got sent earlier this week. Um, they do sell this in boots. And I did try it, and it did actually help me quite a lot. Um, I found it better than the Mary Videscu Drying Lotion. And they are similar ingredients. I think Bye Bye Blemish just has a few more ingredients in. My Mary Videscu Drying Lotion is pretty much nearly run out. Anyway, then I have the Be Pure Micellar Water. Um, I got this one as in Super Drug. It was just a mini sample. So then here I have my number 7 mirror, I have this tray which has just got some lashes on the outside and some hair clips which are from Boots, Urban Outfitters and Primark. The tray is from Ikea. Also I have two Florence by Mills like, um, boxes here because I think they look really nice. Here I have a bunch of brushes. My brushes are from Amazon or 6 Plus. I have this purple set here from Beauty Bay um, and some Eag Show ones I think. In this little drawer here I just have some cleansing cloths. So then in here I have a few other brush sets, so these ones are from Morphe, these are from Colourpop, uh, there's a Beauty Bay uh, bag, the book brushes are there. And I also have some Unicorn Cosmetics, class of 90. So starting off with the first drawer which is foundations, concealers and primers. So starting off with the primers in here first. So I had the 4th Ray Watermelon Face Milk, um, I have this Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer, um, I've used a lot of this actually. So then I have these mini Too Faced hangover samples which I got at the Glamour Beauty Festival. Here I have my NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer which is the best and the Milk Makeup Cooling Water and my Elf Putty Primer. Also I have this bit in here um, which is just for the primers that can't fit in my drawer and I have the Becca, Becca Primer Light and I have two of those. So I have the Elf Poreless Primer, Elf Illuminating Primer and then I have two Benefit Pore Professionals. So one of them is the Pore and then one of them is the Pearl Professional. And then I have the Fenty Beauty Primer. Uh, this is the soft silk one and I really like this. I just find that sometimes it can be a bit drying. And then I have the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer which isn't the best primer. Now moving on to foundation which is in here and back here. So I have the Maybelline Superstay um, and a lot of people like this. I wasn't actually too keen on it. And I'm still really not now, um, so I don't really tend to use it that much. So then I have the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation, the shade 1. Um, and this is the best foundation at the moment and the one that I'm loving and I definitely think is underrated. Anyway, I have the Revolution Concealed Fine in the shade F1. Um, I have a Wet n Wild one in the shade Nude Ivory. I also have the Colourpop one in the shade Light 55 and I, really, I love this. Then back here are some foundations that I've just been sent. Eye Magic Full Coverage Foundation. I also have the Too Faced Peach Perfect one, and I do not know why that's back there because I've definitely not been sent that. The Rimmel Lasting Matte um, 
mousse foundation. Next, moving on to concealers, which I have too many of. So I have the Thin Lizzy um, Flawless Complexion Concealer. The e.l.f. Flawless Concealer in the shade Light Peach. The Eye Magic Concealer in the shade Warm Ivory. The Morphe Concealer in the shade C165. I have the Wet n Wild Concealer in the... Oh, don't have a shade. <laughs> um, I then have the Aura Touch Up Pro in the shade like... I think it's like Vanilla, but I accidentally ripped the shade off a few weeks ago. Then here I have the Fenty Beauty Concealer. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which I use for contour, and it is in the shade Warm, me or oh, Medium Tan. And I have the Revolution Super Size Concealer and Define in the shade C2. Let's have another one here. Then here I have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal, the Revolution Concealer and Define in the shade C2. The Maybelline Fit Me and another Revolution Foundation Stick, which I use for cutting my crease. I also have a Colourpop concealer in the shade. Oh, I can't see that. Stop going blurry. Thank you. Light 14. That is the first drawer done. Now moving on to the second drawer, which is brows, mascara, eye primer, and eye glitters and things like that. So I'm gonna start off with in here, which is like my benefit brow stuff. So I have two gimme brows. Um, the high brow. The Goofless Brow Pencil, which I love. I have the Precise My Brow Pencil, and I love it, but it's ran out, so I just use it for decoration now. I also have the Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil. And I have the Cabrow, the Foolproof Brow Powder, and I also back here I have the Great Brow Basics. So then here I have some tweezers, so I have some from Skinny Dip, and a brand called Brow Tissue. So then here I have two Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades, one in the shade Soft Brown, and one in the shade Medium Brown. I also have this Barium Glitter here, which is insane. Here I have the Essence Lash and Brow Gel, the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown, and the Petite and Pro Brow Gel. Moving on to the next little compartment, I have two P. Louise bases, and these are in the shade Rumor 01 and Rumor 02. These are the best eye bases by far, and if you haven't already, get them. So I then have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now moving on to the next compartment. So I have all of these NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner and the Rimmel Wonder Swipe Eyeliners and a Beauty Bay Living My Best Light um, Eye Glitter. So now the last bit of this drawer is mascara. So here I have the Petite and Pretty Mascara, the Too Faced Waterproof and the Too Faced Regular Mascara. The Rimmel Wonder Luxe Volume and this is so, so good. It's actually better than some of my high-end mascaras. And then we have the Too Faced Damn Girl, which... Um, if you follow my Instagram, I'm pretty sure you probably know I really do not like this. Um, this is absolutely horrible. Um, I'm so sorry. I love Too Faced, but this was just a no-no. Um, it was so clumpy and horrible on my eyes. It just did not work for me at all. Um, I then have the Benefit Roller Lash and the Benefit Bad Girl Bad. So then I have a Korean Eleven Village Factory Mascara, which was brown, and I've never tried brown mascara, and this one was actually quite nice. I have the B Lengthening Mascara and the Aura Length Mascara. I then have the Rimmel Scandalize Wow Wings Mascara and the ba Maybelline Colossal Go Mascara. I also have the um, Ofra HD Volumizing Mascara, but I find that this is quite clumpy, so I don't really use this much. I also have an eyelash curler from Skin Dip, which is absolutely amazing, so pretty. So that is the second draw done. So now going on to the third drawer, which is highlighters, bronzers, powders, and blush. Also, just to mention, my organisers are from IKEA, as I always get a lot of questions about those, and they are the cutlery ones. Okay, I'm going to start here. I have two more blushes, one in the shade Pop of Blush, and one in the shade Pop of Coral. And the Morphe Little Blush um, trios are so cool. So then in the big compartment at the back, I have a Colourpop Champagne Bubbles Press Illuminator. And I use this every day. Yeah, I have the Living My Best Light Beauty Bay Delicate Palette, which is cute and I love it. At the back, I have the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and the Morphe Blush. Um, I'm not sure what shade. In this compartment here, I have powders and a few bronzers. So I have a Revolution Powder, a Eleven Village Factory Korean one, a B Setting Powder, which is too light for me. And then I have two hula bronzers, so I have the hula light and the, just the normal hula. Um, the normal hula is a bit too dark for me, so that's why I have the hula light. I then have the Collection Last Infection Ultimate Wear Powder. I also have the Milani Bronzer, and I also have the Milani Rose Blush. Um, this is so pretty, and it's in the shade 03 Beauty's Touch. And then I have the best Too Faced Bronzer ever. It's so, so good, and it smells amazing, and it's really dirty on the back. Ew. 
Going on to the middle compartment, I have a mini dandelion blush sample. So then I have the Fenty Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Butter. So then I have the Ofra blush in the shade Blush. Uh, <laughs> Candy Apple, not blush. I have the Elf, this Elf highlighter, and it is in the shade Sunset Glow. O1 Heat Wave Bronze Goddess highlighter, which is amazing and it smells amazing. The Gol? Gol I'm, I'm not sure if it's meant to say glow. I really have no idea. This is a folk. Fo Focalor, Focalor, um, highlighter. There you go, it's really nice actually. I have an MUA one. Me and my friends went to the Glam Beauty Festival and we got this in the goodie bag, but I have to say, I do not know what this is. It's so. Ah! It's so chalky and it's horrible. I'm so sorry, Elf. I love Elf, but this was a pass. I have the Ofra Nick Tutorials highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut, but it is a bit light, so I don't really tend to reach for it but um, it's so pretty. So then for this bit here, I have a Colourpop liquid highlighter, a milk makeup stick, um, a wet and wild liquid highlighter, and then I have two high beams from Benefit, which are really nice. And then I have two cozy tints, a cha cha tint, a go go tint, and a little high beam sample. That is the third drawer done. Now going on to the fourth drawer, which is lips. I think my lip drawer is probably my most organized drawer. This is everything lip oil. It's by Maybelline Gloss Hydrant. Three Petite and Pretty Gloss, and I'm not gonna lie, these are actually better than some of my high-end glosses. I have a few high-end glosses. It's not better than the Fenty one, but um, it's better than some others I have. And they have this pink shade. Um, I've never actually used this because I think it's a bit too bright for me, but it looks really cute, and the packaging is also very cute too. Here are my best friends. So, I have three Fenty Gloss bombs, and I have two in the shade Fussy. And I also have one in the shade Fenty Glow. And I really want the new one. I think it's in the shade Sweet Mouth. And uh, I'm going to say it's hot chocolate. I'm not sure. I'm sure it was hot chocolate. But the Fenty Glosses are just so nice. Look at that. So then here I have the Petite and Pretty Gloss Balms. And then here I have a Colourpop lipstick. And my first time was, like, I tried Colourpop for the first time a few months ago. And it was amazing. Just look at it. It's so pretty and I love it. In here I have the Fenty Mademoiselle. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I have two lipsticks and they're both in the shade Candy Venom. I got two in the Glam and Goodie bag. And then I have two Dare Real Double Up Lip Tints. I'm going to say they're tints. I'm sure they are tints. But one of them is in the shade Fu... Yeah, we're not going to say that. We can't say that. But um, the other one is in the shade... Come on, focus please. Flame game. It's not focusing, but yeah. So then I have two Kiko lipsticks, and they are both in the shade... I can't see that. Smart and smart. So then I have all of these Revolution ones, which I got in the 28... 20... 20... Yeah, 2019 calendar. And I've only ever used a few of them. I think I've only used, like, three of them. Uh, some of them are a bit of awkward shade to me. Like, this one is... You know, this one's a bit of an awkward shade because I hate wearing red lipsticks, but like I don't mind wearing dark reds, but this is just like too red. Going on to this one, I have the Thin Lizzy Lip Creams. Um, they are all in the shade uh, Mould Wine, Pink Lady, Tutti Fruity, and Cherry Red. And then I have the Tender Love and Care Colourpop Mini Just a Tint Set, and I got these for Valentine's Day um, in the Valentine's Day parcel. And um, these are really nice actually, and I've never tried the Just a Tint like lip tints, so it was actually really nice to give them a try, and they are my new faves. Let's have some Cherry Carmex. Into this compartment, I just have some Pudea Lip Pills. Um, I'm not too keen on those. These, as I found, they're just a bit too thick on my lips. They're so thick, um, and they literally run out within one go, so I probably wouldn't recommend these actually, to be honest. But they're nice shades, so. Then going on to back here, I have a Morphe lip um, lipstick in the shade Schoolgirl. No, oh, sorry. I was I was going to buy it in the shade Schoolgirl, so I keep thinking it's Schoolgirl, but it's in the shade Unsettled, and it's so nice. I have a Rimmel Oh My Gloss. Um, I have a Focalore lipstick. A, I'm not sure what this brand is. My friend Eva got bought bought me this from sephora so shout out to eva um her instagram is makeup eva x so go follow her uh, she bought me this and i really like it but i'm not actually sh i think yeah that's the brand and they sell it in sephora i'm not sure what if they sell it in the uk um she got it while she was in italy i have two jealousy cosmetic lip gloss um so they have one side is a lip stick and one side is a lip gloss however obviously um these are a bit awkward shades, not this one, but um, especially this one because it's too red for me. So, yeah. Going on to the fourth drawer. So, in this drawer, I have eyeshadow palettes that I have been sent. Um, 
and also eyeshadow palettes that I don't really reach for as much. So starting off with, I have the Ofra Glitch palette, which is a glitter palette, and it looks like this. I've never used this, as I only got this um two weeks ago from Ofra. So I'm also thanking Ofra for sending me this. I'm definitely going to try this out soon. So then here I had the Ofra Pro palette, and this is actually smashed there, and it did decide to go everywhere. So thanks to that. This palette um, has highlighters, bronzers, eyeshadows in it. I find the Ofra highlighters so pigmented, um, but it's just a shame this one had to smash as it was my fave. So then here I have some Colourpop palettes. So this one here is the Bare Necessities palette from Colourpop. Then next up I have the Colourpop It's All Good palette, and I've only used this palette once um, as I have too many palettes. But anyway, this palette is really, really nice. And it has a really nice cut packaging. So guys, just to mention, um, if you want to buy anything from Colourpop, um, I do have a $5 off code. So if you just use my code, 5 Izzy. My Mitchell Mora from my Mitchell palette, I just took it out as I just found it kept getting in the way and kept painting on a few of the shades. And some of the shades did get gam damaged. Then here is my Tammy palette. Um, this is a bit ruined and I haven't used this in a long while actually. Um, I did actually used to love this and as you can see, um, I did not hit pan on this. I dropped it and it came out and then I just had to take the blue eyeshadow out. So that was like a bit of a problem but I haven't used the palette in a while so... So then here I had the Dream Big Colourpop Mono Monochromatic Palette Vault. This contains their It's My Pleasure, Blue Moon, Oh Ho... It's like uh huh honey palette, um, orange you glad, main squeeze and just my luck palette. And this is a lovely vault but I'm not going to get it out. So then here I have the Sunrise Folklore palette which is, I think it's a dupe for the Huda Nude. Um, I do not think it is as good um, in my own opinion. So then next is the Endless Possibilities palette from Folklore again. And this is a lovely palette and I do love this um, palette. It is so nice for like just a natural everyday look. And it's so pretty and I love it. So then next I have the um, Eye Magic 35 Colour Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. Um, uh, the yellow did smash, I do not know how. And then I have the Spotlight by You Can Be Palette, and I've only used this like once or twice. I'm not going to show the palettes in, at the back too much, as a few of them are smashed, and I don't really reach them as much. But if you are interested in any of those, you can just message me on my Instagram. So we're now going to go on to the other set of Alex drawers. So in the top drawer is my skincare. Let's we'll start down here. So in here I have the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. I also have the Magic Micella Cleansing Gel, thanks to my friend Taya um, for buying me this for Christmas. I then have the Elf Hello Hydration Face Cream. And I have two O Hello Kristen Creams. Um, I thought that these were eye creams, but it turns out they're moisturisers. Next we have a Pixie on the Glow Stick, which I love. And I have a Cow Dilly, um, how do you say that? Yeah, it's a cleansing gel, and I also have a Clinique cleansing gel. Um, I've both got those in the Glamour Goodie bag, but I've only ever used that, like, twice. But I've never used this. Anyway, then I have some Elf Hello Hydration Face Cream samples. I have my Ordinary A. So then here I have the Ordinary um, Peeling Solution. TikTok made me buy this, but it was actually worth the money, and it was so good. And I'm still using it now once a week. And then here I have my Moisture Magnet by Mary Badescu, which I have two of, and I love and then I have the Mary Badescu Vitamin C Serum. Okay, so story time. Mary Badescu actually sent me this um, as a PR package, which is crazy. Anyway, that night, I went to a friend's house to sleep and I left this in the box. I hadn't done the lid up properly and it went everywhere. And now I don't actually have any of it left because obviously I literally just have the teeniest, teeniest bit. So I'm never going to be able to have one of these again. Mary Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. And I also have a lip balm. So then here I have a load of Mary Badescu sprays. So I have a um, aloe, cucumber, green tea one. I have two. I have a rose water one. And then I have an orange one, which was crazy because I love it. And um, <clears throat> I just couldn't believe it when Mary Badescu sent me this. It was crazy. And then back here I have my Jade Roller. That is the skincare drawer done with. Now going on to my second drawer, which is face mask. Here I have the Jake Jamie Watermelon um, Feed Your Face Mask, which I wanted for ages. And after about three months, I got it in my event calendar. And then I have the Elias Skin Pink Perfect Australian Clay Mask. Next to that, we have the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. And here I have a Black Hair Peel Off Mask. And it has some Aroha Nature Masks, um, which is so cute. And I love them. But then here I have the um, Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Exfoliator Treatment. And this was actually quite nice because nothing really normally works from like around my nose area, but this did. So then here I have the Australian Emu um, Bounce Mask, and this was amazing. I recommend the 
mask for anyone who's suffering with dry skin. These are both amazing and they are 10 out of 10 products. So then here I have a bunch of sheet masks which I'm going to show you. So this is Boots' own face mask and it looks amazing. The packaging is so cute and it's um, like a berry mask and I've never tried a berry mask so I'm actually really excited to try this. I then have a Coke Star Cucumber Sheet Mask, um, an OK Leopard Print Sheet Mask, a Nip and Fab Teen Mask, which I never knew was a thing till, my, till I got it um, a few weeks ago. I have a My Skin Treat Avocado Mask, I wrote a Nature Mask, an Alpaca Mask. Some Ilvazeka masks, a Glam Glow bubble sheet mask, another Ilvazeka, a Llama, and a foil face mask. Second drawer done with. Now going on to the third drawer. So in here's lashes, and it isn't the most tidiest of drawers. I'll show you all of these, as most of my lashes are actually on my tray up on my desk. So here I have some unicorn cosmetic ones, some primer lashes, some doll lashes, some Superdrug lash glue, PLT lashes, Yileen Luxury lashes, some tatty lashes, eyelid lashes, um, just Super Drug's own lash, um, some Colourpop false lashes. I'm not sure like what these are, but yeah, um, they are in the style lover. And then here I have two Unicorn Cosmetics brushes, which Unicorn Cosmetics kindly sent me, and I still haven't used them. I also have some lashes back there. Um, they're from like a marketplace in Thailand, and they're so nice. So that's the third drawer done. Now going on to the fourth. This is like beauty accessories and setting sprays. So in here I have some makeup sponges. So I have a range. So I have some from Eye Magic. I think I have two from Eye Magic. Yep. Um, the rest are beaky blenders. I have um, one from Unicorn Cosmetic, which is the best. Um, and I love this. And I have some old Primark ones. Ew. So the first setting spray I have is the Ofra um, Makeup Fixer, which is actually really, really big compared to like some of my other setting sprays. And this is really good. And it looks like this. Oh, trying to get it in the back. It's packaged perfect. Then I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is a part of the 39L like collection. Um, as this is why it's like a limited edition one. I then have the Morphe Jeffree Star Setting Mist. The Setting Spray from Superdrug. Two All Nighters from Urban Decay. A Milk Makeup Setting Spray. A Dewy Set Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, and a MAC Setting Spray. So that's the fourth drawer done. So now going on to the fourth drawer, which are the eyeshadow palettes that I reach for every day. The first palette I have is the All That palette by Colourpop. And this is the Valentine's Day collection, although Valentine's Day was a while ago. This was it. So this is a really pretty palette and it has really nice packaging. Here I have some Huda palettes. So I have the Desert Dust palette, the Nude palette and the Rose Gold Remastered. So this one's the Dusk, this one's the Nude and this one is the Rose Gold Remastered. And Next I have the Jeffree Jawbreak palette, which looks like this. If you give me a second. Oh, that's pretty. Love this palette, but the palette is really heavy because of the mirror, so it's actually quite sad because I can't carry it around with me because it's too heavy. And next up, which is my favourite at the moment, this is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Extra Large Pro Carnival palette. This is super pretty, and I love the neon green chain. It's so pretty. I love it. I just can't even get over it. But next up, I have the James Charles palette. I don't actually really reach this as much. I used to like love this, and it used to be like my fave. Um, obviously the yellow has it pan, the orange has it pan, you can kind of see it, and this one has it pan too. Next up I have the Morphe 39L. Um, I don't really reach this as much as I used to because I did used to use this a lot, but it's such a nice palette. So then here I have the NYX Shadow Palette. So next I have the Revolution X Roxy Colour Burst Palette. Then here I have the Beauty Bay Palette. So this is the Mitch Palette I was talking about earlier. The mirror does dig into a few of the shades. It digged into this one, um, Michelle. It also digged into this one, Melted, and it did dig into that one too. So then here is the Morphe 35 Ice Fantasy, which is the pastel palette, which is gorgeous. I'm actually got, I've actually got this on my eyes now. So then I have the Morphe 35B, as you can see, the red has hit pan and the blue has hit pan. It's a really nice palette, and I used to reach, reach for this loads, but I don't really tend to anymore. And lastly, I have the Morphe Pride palette. So that is my palette drawer done with. So that was the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Um, and I hope you all have a good day.